Good evening. Dementia, many say, is a fate worse than death itself. I also agree. It kills you inside while keeping you alive. It doesn't give you the peace of death, but rather the torture of hell mixed with the void of death. But I shall elaborate a bit, shouldn't I? Dementia is a memory disorder linked with Alzheimer's that causes you to lose all your memories. It might not sound bad because you don't want to remember them. And yes, I agree. In the later stages, you feel bliss. You forget. Forgetting. You don't know what you are forgetting. You don't even know what forgetting is. But in the first stages, the problem is, you still feel them at the tip of your tongue, but it doesn't come out. What comes out is a messed up version, and in the later stages, nothing is remembered. It's not just you are losing your memories, it's them being destroyed and messed up. Put that together, back into its place. And in the later stages, even removed. Like you trying to find a painting's content by looking at it when ten coats of paint have been put on it. And in the later stages, only to the back cover. But don't worry, it gets worse. Instead of you forgetting your keys and belongings like in the beginning stages, or even forgetting your friends and family like in the middle stages, you forget how to eat and starve, or even forget how to sit in the toilet. And most of the time, you have to be sent to care numbers to take care of you. You forget your family, so it feels normal after a while, but also a bit unfamiliar. After this, which most of the time is a years long torture of seeing strangers who claim they're your family, at least in the end, there's terminal lucidity. In your final moments, you get all your memories. Everything you have remembered, been through, seen, back. Although, it's dementia's way of mocking you. It gives you your memories back at a time when you don't need them, at a time when it's too late. The only thing you can do is something like crack a final joke, be overwhelmed or say goodbyes to your family. I never thought of it much. But after listening to everywhere at the end of time, and listening to other people's stories and how they've had to deal with other people who have grieved somebody who's still alive. It opened my eyes to the whole scenario. I feel so grateful that I ha don't have to mourn the loss of somebody who's still alive and nobody has to do this to me. But the saddest part is, there's a chance that you, I, your or my loved ones or anybody might have to go through it. Early on to dementia, it makes you more humble knowing that someone is going to hell while on earth. But you can also go through it. In the end, you also feel more grateful for the time you have before death while living possibly kicks in. In the end, I just want to say, try to live a moment as much as you can. It's just a moment, but make it something worth remembering. Or in this case, remembering first, in the end of your time. Thanks for listening to me.